Live events from over a dozen fight organizations, including featured matchups on UFC Fight Pass early prelims. Invicta, the world's premier all-female MMA organization. Catch MMA from the Midwest's action-packed Victory Fighting Championship. See the live jiu-jitsu tournaments on the Eddie Bravo Invitational and the world's best kickboxing on the Glory Super Fight Series. Start your free trial now. Ten years ago, if somebody would have said to me, where are you going to be in 2016, I would have never have guessed on a TV set. I remember Dana White saying to me, he goes, years from now, you're going to remember this. It's changed my life. This is my future now. I'm still very grateful that I got to fight in the UFC. I've been a fighter, and now I am an actor. I was on season nine of The Ultimate Fighter. I've been through a lot of changes since then. I was the first female fighter from Europe in the UFC. It's been an amazing thing to be part of. Fighting is the most important thing in the world, so I have to keep going. Ronda have had time, but now is my time. Amanda Nunes! Look at those shots! Wow! Ronda Rousey! She is spectacular. I'm the best in the world, I'm gonna win. Nobody gonna take this belt. Is what UFC looks like. This is what swagger, family, power, and belief look like. Get it? So get it. Shop UFCstore.com for the perfect present for any UFC fan. UFCstore.com. This is what UFC looks like. Two of the biggest personalities in MMA. I make the predictions and I make them wrong. Now host the best podcast in the sport. I'm the first guest. <laughs> We're not going to mention the eight fighters that said no. UFC Unfiltered with Jim Norton and Matt Serra brings you the latest in fight news and analysis, behind the scenes stories, pop culture debates, celebrity guests, and more. We have The Rock calling in. How are you, man? I just want to see a great fight. <laughs> Hear new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and UFC.com. UFC Unfiltered, powered by digital media. Ten years ago, if somebody would have said to me, where are you going to be in 2016, I would have never have guessed on a TV set. I remember Dana White saying to me, he goes, years from now, you're going to remember this. It's changed my life. This is my future now. I'm still very grateful that I got to fight in the UFC. I've been a fighter, and now I am an actor. I was on season nine of The Ultimate Fighter. I've been through a lot of changes since then. I was the first female fighter from Europe in the UFC. It's been an amazing thing to be part of. Fighting is the most important thing in the world, so I have to keep going. Ronda have had time, but now is my time. Amanda Nunes! Look at those shots! Wow! Ronda Rousey! She is spectacular. I'm the best in the world, I'm gonna win. Nobody gonna take this belt. UFC fans, we are back in Las Vegas as we welcome you to the weigh-ins for UFC 207, Nunes versus Rousey. Tomorrow night, Brazil's first female UFC champion, Amanda Nunes, looks to defend her title for the first time when she fights Ronda Rousey. The former UFC bantamweight champion defended her title six times with three finishes by submission and three finishes by knockout. Also tomorrow night on pay-per-view, the champion, Dominic Cruz, 12 and 0 at 135 pounds. He will seek yet another title defense against Team Alpha Male's most rapidly rising star, Cody Garbrandt. We'd like to send out a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members and thank our UFC sponsor, Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the blazing fast 4G LTE T-Mobile network for just $30, period. Harley Davidson, see your dealer today and learn to ride like some of your favorite UFC fighters 
with Harley Davidson Riding Academy. Live your legend. EA Sports UFC 2. Get up to 75% off for a limited time on the Xbox One and PlayStation console. And Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And now, to get the weigh-ins for UFC 207 underway, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Ariadne, Brittany, Vanessa, Chrissy, Joe Silva's last show, ladies and gentlemen, best matchmaker on the planet. Bruce Buffer, voice of the Octagon, Sean Shelby. Come on, folks, we got a hell of a card for you. We're gonna kick things off in the welterweight division. Live on UFC Fight Pass, Alex Oliveira versus Tim the Dirty Bird Means. First up on the scale, Tim Means, 170. Official weight, 170 from Mr. Price. And his opponent, Brandon Thatch. Official weight, 170 for Mr. Thatch. Go Price and Brandon Thatch, ladies and gentlemen, kicking things off on FS1. The next fight takes place in the welterweight division. Mike Quicksand Pile versus Alex, the Dominican Nightmare Garcia. Official weight, 170.5 for Mr. Garcia. And his opponent, Las Vegas' own Mike Pyle. Official weight, 170 for Mr. Pyle. Alex Garcia and Mike Pyle, ladies and gentlemen. 
The next fight takes place in the middleweight division. Antonio Carlos Jr. versus Marvin Vittori. Official weight, 186 for Mr. Vittori. And his opponent, Antonio Carlos Jr. Official weight, 186 for Antonio Carlos Jr. Official weight, 171 for Mr. Magni. And his opponent, the former UFC welterweight champion in the world, Johnny Hendricks. Official weight, 173.5. Mr. Hendricks has missed weight. Neil Magny and Johnny Hendricks, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the main card, live on pay-per-view. We kick things off in the flyweight division. Luis Smolka versus Ray Ford. Official weight, 129.5 for Mr. Ford. Ray Ford has missed weight. And his opponent, Luis Smolka. Official weight, 125.5 for Mr. Smolka. Ray Borg and Luis Smolka, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the welterweight division. Dong Young Kim versus Terrence Safadi. Official weight, 171 for Mr. Safadi. And his opponent, Dong Dong Kim. Official weight, 
finish away 171 for Mr. Kim. Tarek Safadine and Dong Young Kim, ladies and gentlemen. the title inside the octagon unbeaten I don't believe in no devil. now you disrespected me before i even knew who you were i didn't even know who he was and this is a guy that's been constantly talking in the media just disrespecting me you know damn well you know who i am dominic been the last one standing. Uh, i can't wait to lock horns with him you know and uh, show you who your daddy is you can be a host to god or a hostage to your ego Every single person on that team is a hostage to their own ego. Dominic Cruz will be facing the most destructive knockout artist he has ever fought in his entire career. Cody Garbrandt fights with an intensity and a fury that is rarely seen in the bantamweight division. I'm a different fighter than he's ever faced. I'm a hybrid fighter since the beginning. The new generation of the fighters that are coming through. Oh, huge right hand! Almeida's out! Cody Garbrandt by knockout! But he is facing a champion that is so incredibly unique and revolutionary. When you break it down move for move, no one competes the way Dominic Cruz does. I have so many different skill sets in this thing that if your game plan is to knock me out, you're already lost. A one-dimensional fighter like him is not going to beat me. When that door closes, he's got to be careful. I, I'm one punch away from him turning his lights off. Oh, my! Rocked him! Looking for the finish! I'm a man of my word. You know, you're going to speak ill and disrespect me. You plan on breaking his jaw in there. I'm going to break your jaw. I'm gonna show you who your daddy is for real. You can't handle everything with brute strength like a meathead. You have to use tactics. He has no tactic. I just look forward to beating up more alpha fails. Me being an alpha male guy, I'm a team alpha fail that he just beaten every alpha male guy. I'm a different beast. He's just so angry. He's, he's just a mess. Dominic Cruz will not beat me. Oh! I'm a born bred fighter. And this is my destiny to be a world champion. I beat the guy that taught you everything you know, badly. What do you think I'm going to do to you? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the challenger, Cody Garbrandt. Official weight, 135 for the challenger. His opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic Cruz. Oh. 
Official weight 135 for the champion. I'm here with the challenger, Cody Garbrandt. Cody, you're an intense guy, but this is more intense and more animosity than we've ever seen with you with any opponent. Give us your thoughts on Dominic Cruz and what goes down tomorrow night. I knock him out. Whatever round I choose, I knock him out. 100. Good luck to you, sir. We'll see you tomorrow night. I'm here with the champion, ladies and gentlemen. Dominic Cruz, you're, you're not just a master fighter, but you're, you're also master at getting people pissed off at you. But rarely have you accomplished it to a level that you have with Cody Garbrandt. Give us your thoughts on Garbrandt as a challenger and what tomorrow night means to you. Honestly, I don't know why he's so mad. I like the guy. He looks like a win on my record. You know what I mean? That's it. He's another win on my record. I'm going to walk away with my third title this year. I'm excited for the matchup. He's going to be swinging it there all night, baby. Good luck to you, sir. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, Dominic Cruz. And now, let's take a closer look at the two women involved in the main event of the evening. Ronda Rousey represents a totally unique individual. She's the best women's mixed martial arts fighter the world has ever seen. There's not even a close second place. There's Ronda Rousey, and then there's the rest of them. With that success comes distractions that slowly chip away from the focus of being the best female fighter on the planet. It was a devastating knockout loss, and for a full year, she did not appear in the octagon again. She completely focused herself back on becoming, once again, the best female fighter in the world. But in front of her, she has an incredibly difficult opponent in Amanda Nunes. I believe personally that Amanda Nunes' style and her ability represent the most difficult opponent that Ronda Rousey has faced inside her career. She doesn't have any holes in her game. I'm mean, better than Ronda in every way. If she try stand with me, I'm gonna knock her out. If the fights go to the ground, I'm gonna submit the head. I will beat Ronda Rousey and show everybody the real champion. You know, I know a lot of these things trying to make it look like that I'm just going around and doing movies and interviews and reading articles about myself all day long, but the fact remains that I work harder than they do. And I want it more than they do. When things don't go according to plan is when I'm at my absolute best. I've, I really truly believe I will always find the way because the way is there and there's no reason in the world why I can't find it. I'm not leaving that cage unless I'm the champion and that's it. Introducing the challenger, the former UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Ronda Rousey!
Amanda, this is an incredibly important fight for you to defend your title. Give us your thoughts on what tomorrow night means to you. Means everything to me. I will show everybody I'm the real champion. I will show you guys and be ready for tomorrow night. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Amanda Nunes, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you all tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Before fighting Holly Holm in November of 2015, Ronda Rousey was the only women's bantamweight champion the UFC had ever seen. She was a superstar as far as movies go, superstar in the sport. It was Ronda Rousey and everybody else. Everybody else was trying to be second best. Since that loss, we have barely seen Ronda. It's not consistent with who you've promoted yourself to be. Is that about losing, or is that about losing the mystique and the image that you worked so hard to create? The belt has changed hands many times over now, successively. We now have Amanda Nunes as that champion. Discussions over the last 11 months or so trying to get Ronda back into the octagon. Has there been anything in terms of development on the return of Ronda Rousey? The type of champion that she was, as much as she dominated, I can't imagine that one fight will set her back that much. To complete the story, she does need to come back and try to get that belt back. Let's make the major announcement, Dana White. Well, the thing that everybody's been waiting for for a good year, Ronda Rousey is back. Right elbow, double left knee. She will fight December 30th against Amanda Nunes for the title. She's the type of competitor that isn't gonna go out like that. Yeah. Uh, clear visions with my eyes closed. Where I wanna take this tool is where my mind goes. The road less traveled is the high roads. I've been knocked down, but every time I rose. Cause I can move a mountain with my bare hands. I never settled down. I came to get the crown. She needs to be that same Ronda Rousey that thought she was invincible. I think she's gonna come back with a vengeance. Best in the world every single day of the year. Everything is special about Ronda Rousey. She's the Michael Jordan of her sport. She's a female hero. The greatest in the world. And we haven't found a close second yet. Ronda Rousey. Holly Holm. Let's go.